break over let's go welcome to part two yeah now definitely beckoning k3 temperature again Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share people. Hope you enjoyed the first half. <coughs> Ooh, pardon me. Just follow this new path. Oh gosh. Word of advice guys. Don't smoke and ride, because after that spliff, I'm fucked. Oh well. Not I'm fucked, my legs are fucked, my legs are going, oh my god, do I have to pedal? Like, yes, you fucking do. The only problem is half these estates are uphill struggles. Yeah, when did they lay this new path then? This never used to be here. off up an alleyway. Oh, first gear, well, so not too bad. Come on, AP, get your fucking legs out, mate. Don't be a wuss. Don't ask where the hell we're heading to. I know, round, well, I don't know around these estates very well, so we go around them, fuck knows where we're going to end up. All right, guys. <sighs> Left, right, or straight ahead? <sighs> uh, straight ahead to the next lot, fuck it. <sighs> oh, it's pretty cat. Oh. All right, well, if we take the route or the direction I'm going in, hopefully at some point it should end up back round one way. Let's just shoot down here. Completely fucking random. Oh, someone's got a flat tyre. Your 4x4 four four is now 4x3. If that makes any sense. Probably not. I'm stoned. Leave me alone. I'm a lesbian. I like pussy. Is that a dead end or not? Way. 
Oh. Hopefully this is worse the uphill struggles over. I have a funny feeling I might not be out the woods on that one yet. Local centre Emerson Valley in Tatno that way. Okay. Chilton Gardens. Ooh, go down and close here. Have a little explore. Around here now. The shed with Chepstow sidings on the front of it. Oh, somebody, a uh, Great Western Railways fan. Cool, cool. That's what it is. Let's go up here and see what's up here. So I take it from the British Telecom maintenance covers, this estate was built around 1987. If you live around the state's estate, let me know if I'm right. You see, look, these covers down here. BT487. Yeah, so this is built about the 80s. See, that's how you date a neighbourhood. Oh, sounds like something's going on around here. site is strictly forbidden. Contaminants work in pro... Contaminants work? Ooh! What is that? I found... Ooh, any idea what that's all about? Was there asbestos in there? Well, if they're built in the 80s, it wouldn't be surprising if there's still asbestos in some of these buildings. Oh, we've got a local shop here. Open seven till nine. Tuesday Community Centre. West Bletchley Council. Right, let's head back towards Warden Way. Ah. Oh, fucking naked. Things I do for you lot. Oh, don't worry, I am planning up some more rides to Bedford. I've just got to, you know, wait till payday. Get my food back in, shit sorted out, and find out how much change I've got left. Oh, yeah, here's a question for you guys. Top of conversation while we're riding. How many of you who rent... I've had your landlord coming up saying, because this year's a leap year, you're going to pay an extra week's rent. So you're paying 53 weeks instead of 52. How many of you had that? And considering no one's ever done this on any other leap year, what makes this your leap year different? I think just using it as an excuse to be a money-grabbing exercise. Personally, I think it's bang out of order. Your opinions in the comments, peeps. What do you think? Think they're bang out of order for doing shit like that? I mean, that's the world, the way, the way the world's going now. It's all motivated by money, principles and all the rest of it. It's gone right out the fucking window.
What's with all these uh, fences around these blocks of flats? Been around for ages. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. What's all that about? Let us know in the comments, yeah? Oh, it's that southern bus doing the number four route. <sighs> right, let's get on some estate, shall we? Oh, we've got Tatno Lane or Tatno Street, whatever it is. It's just a uh, in front of here, that's it. Got the road. A little down here eventually. Thank you. Oh, Windmill Hill Drive actually. Okay. Quick scoop round here. Work our way through the golf course on the Tatanos. What in the living fuck? Always hear it, never see it. What the fuck is that, man? For all I know, that could be a missile heading for wherever. We do nuclear explosion, bombs coming, bang! You hear that in the background? I'm looking up, I can't see shit. No, it's cloudy, but... Surely I'd see something. Uh, I've got to remember where I'm going now. Yeah. Want a quick ride around the golf course? Why not? Got to be done. Oops. Right, I'm just going to cut this for editing purposes back in two seconds. There you go, told you. Oh, this is going to get slippy and slidy and horrible. Yep, wheel spinning. Ah. Welcome to Women Hill Golf Course. I know some people want me to do a walk around here one day. I will do. I just can't be asked to do the whole damn thing right now. <laughs> Just taking a shirt to catch. Let's scoot through my old neighbourhood. Ooh, fucking hell. What? Whoa! Ugh! Ugh! be a footpath under there somewhere. Oh, there it is. Ooh, fucking hell. Sunningdale Way, I think. No! Not something that way, I do beg my pardon. I didn't come down that far. Oh, it's the Stanton Way. Okay. It's still my old neighbourhood. Just one street up. <sighs> More park. And the Raff Club, Raff Club ahead of us. Okay. And swing right. Bloody hell. These PCSOs get about, don't they? Look, police presence in West Bletchley. Wow. Lucky I've got that on film, we don't see that very often. Right, let's go down Lovett Drive. 
Whoa, without getting fucking killed in the process. Thank you. See, you can be polite sometimes. Oh yeah, there used to be gouges down there. I think it's just abandoned now. Let's have a quick look. I ain't been down here in years. Oh shit. And it's still derelict and abandoned and empty. And Puncher City, I'm really not fucking doing well with Puncher. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, this is pretty much fucking it. <laughs> Right, uh, let's get out of here before I get a fucking puncher. Oh, Jesus, yeah, fucking brambles and shit everywhere. Yeah, I'll just quick look down there. Now on to Avon Grid. Oh, God. Oh, there's an old sub there. Uh, I need to change the angle of this saddle, man. In the short while it's alright, but after a long bike ride, it's starting to get a bit sore. Uh, another foreign language. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, where the fuck do we go? Let's go past the youth club. Jesus, with that cloud coming over, I might want to keep down the other end. Work our way away from that before we end up getting fucking wet. Shit! Now I never realised that. Get a load of this, guys. Do you know what? I always thought it was just one van. Didn't realise he had three of them. And an old Cortina. Love it. Absolute fucking love it. Brilliant. I like his style. I only ever thought it was one car, not three. Well, bugger me. Now that is a unique business promotion idea. Fucking take my hat off to the bloke for that one. Using vintage cars to promote his business. Yes. That's what I'm on about, people. Proper innovation. Not your bog standing on, oh, I don't give a shit, I'll get AI to make you something up because I'm too sick and stupid to have an imagination. Why do you think I'm always playing around with the fucking channel's logo, mate? Just keep mucking around and you get it right and you get better and better and better. Good practice. Don't ask where we are. Outside some school, I think. Not really paying attention. 
I'm just cruising. Just lady what I see around me, lovely little housing estate. Let's have a look on the BT covers and see what this place dates. Uh, yeah, there's one. 1988. Always had to have a look at least two or three different ones just to get the date right. Because some of them have different years, different dates. When you walk around Collingborough, which is built in the 90s, some of the bloody telephone covers say it's from the 1970s. 88, 88. another two here. 86. So there you go, it's 86, 88. Them dates are when them things were cast, but it's a rough idea of when they, uh, you know. So them 86 ones, they could have been sat in storage for two years and then used. And the 88 ones could be freshly ordered. We're back on Shelley Road again. Humble way, yeah, I think we are. I wish in the Lord. Right, we need to go right then. Ooh, I'm gonna get cramping my foot in a minute. Ooh. Head down Devon Close. Down here. Oh, let's see the front end of a classy Merc. I take it, it might be a 300 SL or something. Am I right? No. Oh no, 500 SEC, I think. Nice. B res, yeah. Oh, school. Nice. Footpath closed, not to me, it fucking ain't. Oh. Want any rubbish? Not a very good idea to leave an electric scooter by the bins. Someone might think you chucked it out and nicked it. <laughs> I don't want an electric scooter. Fucking thing will probably burn my house down while it's charging. Oh. Oh, charging points. Look at these. Neighbourhood charging points. Oh, West Bletchley's going all electric. Oh, garages. Sorry. <laughs> so behind me like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, yes. A little bit of abandonment for you guys. A little bit of abandonment. Should we get off the bike and have a tour around here? Yeah, why not? Yeah, not much to look at in here. Those wood, half of them 
milk. Okay, now. One oh nine. Oh, open. Uh, oh, look, there's a view inside through the keyhole. There's another one here. Oh, oh cobwebs. Oh, let's have a look. What's in it? Not a lot from the looks of it. Yeah. Fan. Jeez. Watch out for the nails. Oh, there's that fucking laughing gas shit that kids are using still. Oh, as I say, I thought they were illegal. You know what I mean? So why is there still fucking shitloads of damn things floating around all over the place? It's a nice tool bag. Full of water. Titan. Bet there's nothing in it. Water. You can smell the bloody fumes off that guy's exhaust pipe. Oh, right, we're now going past Cornwell Gro Cornwall Grove over the roundabout, literally. This coast down here. Look at that, view ahead of us. Just coasting all the way down. Play chicken with the Tesco's man. Again. Fuck me, look, they're filling in potholes. Oh my god, they're filling in potholes. Do you witness that, people? They're filling in potholes. And then they're not filling in potholes. <laughs> Only doing half a job. Jesus Christ. What do we pay council tax for? Oh, yeah. Some of us try not to. Derbyshire Clues. Uh, I'm not quite sure where the fuck we're going now.
Oh, we're back on one way again. Okay. Huh. That means our tour's going to be coming to a close soon. Because we kind of started round Wally Drive and we're going to probably end round Wally Drive. Coming up on Melrose. Okay, what's missing? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get through there. Yeah, oh, just. There you go. Yeah, we'll go through what was Melrose, a uh, Melish, rather. Melrose is a shop, Smellish was a tower blocky to it. Uh. Right guys, you know what, I'm going to end this video here because I need a rest. Fucking electric, really? Uh, yeah, I'm going to, oh, freaking hell, I'm going to cut this here guys. Hope you enjoyed the ride. Don't forget to watch part one if you haven't. This is part two. This is the end of part two. This is a very knackered stone AP signing off. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And I will see you 
very soon. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now. I'll get home, I'll go to bed. <laughs>